Okay, now we look into the quiz answer. Okay, diagram shows the equation for the reaction for cellular respiration. Eh? Reaction that occur in a human body. Okay, the first question is, the molecular formula is uh, for the glucose is C6H12O6, eh? right? The empirical formula. So, what is the empirical formula? So, meaning that we need to see whether we can simplify or not. Yes, we can simplify, divide by 6. So, meaning that it becomes CH2. Yeah, so based on the diagrams, uh, write the chemical equation to represent the cellular re respiration uh, reaction. So, glucose already given here is C6H12O6. So, react with oxygen. So, it produce carbon dioxide and water. So, CO2 and water H2O. Okay, so we need to balance this equation. So, first, carbon. So, times 6. The second one is the hydrogen is <coughs> 12. So, all hydrogen 12. So, meaning that 6 here. Yeah. So, we want to total up the oxygen. So, 6 to 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So, here already 6. So, we need another 12. So, this one times 6. Okay, so this is the chemical equations. Next, calculate the volume of the carbon dioxide gas yes, if 360 gram of glucose is used. Okay, so this one is the mass given, right? Okay, so first we need to find out the number of mole for glucose C6H12O6. So we use the mass is 360 over the molar mass. Molar mass we need to calculate out. C is 12 times 6 plus uh, 12 times 1 plus 16 times 6. So we total up. Use your calculator to total up. So 12 times 6 <coughs> plus 12 plus 16 times 6. So it's 180. Okay, so molar mass is 180. Yeah? Molar mass. So over 180. So you will get mm, 360 over, so it's 2 more, okay. So for this one, it's 2 more, okay. The question asks, what is the volume of carbon dioxide? Okay, so carbon dioxide is here. So number 2, we need to calculate the uh, mole ratio. Uh. So from equation, okay, one more of glucose okay produce six more of carbon dioxide so if now is two more so what is the is one to six meaning so it's 12 more times six so carbon dioxide so it'll be six uh, with 12 moles okay 12 moles of carbon dioxide so once we have the more ready so we have volume we can find the volume so it's more is 12 times molar volume at room condition is 24 so 12 times 24 so it's 288 cubic decimeter okay so three marks so the mark allocation here more is one mark more ratio another mark then uh, volume is 288 so three marks okay Next question, okay. So, what is the meaning of empirical formula? Okay, so is the formula okay? Is the formula that shows what shows the simplest, simplest spelling must be correct. Eh? simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element in the compound okay yeah so you must include the keyword sound this is a formula showing the simplest whole number ratio of atoms for each element okay in the compound. Okay. 
Okay, next determines the empirical formula. Okay, so first, I'll give it to you the percentage, right? Okay, so directly change to the mass. So we have elements. So you can draw a table like this. We follow the one arrangement here. C H on. Okay, so x elements here. Yeah, so first is the mass. So directly change to gram six five. 8.11 then 43.24 okay so next find the more okay more so mass over molar mass so mass here 48.65 over 12 so you will get 48.65 over 12 so we get 4.05 okay 8.11 divided by 1 so 8.11 43.24 over 16 so 2.7 2.70 okay you have the more ready now we have, can find the simplest ratio ratio more ratio okay so uh, 2.70 is the smallest so everybody divide by 2.70 so 4.05 set at 0 0.5 divide by 2.7 so 1.5 around 1.5 this are 8.11 divide by 2.7 you get 3 this one 2.7 divide by 2.7 you get 1 okay now uh, you will see this one is not the whole number right so how to get the whole number we cannot round to 2 so we must times 2 you get 3 so this one times 2 also this one times 2 so meaning that simplest ratio Okay, so this one you get 3, this one you get 6, this one you get 2. So meaning that empirical formula is is C3H6O2. Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, now given to you the molar mass is molecular mass is 148. This is your this one is your empirical formula, right? So C3H6O2 then times M equals to 148. Oh, okay, then times in find out the N. C is 12 times 3 plus H is 1 times 6 plus 16 times 2. 148. So meaning that M is 36 plus 6, 6 plus 32. 74 1 for 8 so n you will get is 2 okay uh, don't stop here so meaning that molecular formula is c 3 h 6 or 2 times n times n is times 2 so meaning that is c 6 h 12 or 4 Okay, so this is your answer. Okay, next. <coughs> hmm. Okay, uh, the graph shows the two methods used to determine the empirical formula for the method of side x and method of side y. So, method x, this one is method of side y. S suggest the method x, method y. Okay, so as mentioned uh, in the class, so this method one, uh, this is for the reactive metal. Okay, this one for the unreactive. Okay, yeah. so such as X, X reactive factor, magnesium. Okay, Y, unreactive for couple. Okay, so two marks here. Why metal was chosen? Okay, metal X is a reactive metal 
Okay, it can react with oxygen. Okay, to form magnesium oxide. Okay, uh, that matter why is an unreactive matter. Okay, uh, so here hydrogen can displace okay copper to form a uh, copper uh, displace copper from from copper copper to oxide okay we can use the formula okay from copper to oxide okay so we can use the hydrogen to displace it okay so four marks now description here okay determines the empirical formula for oxide of r okay uh, now given to you so first we need to find the mass of r and then another one is oxygen so we can see here here is the metal oxide r this one is r so if we want to find r let's say it's a b c so it should be c minus a c minus a so it's 36.34 minus 32.5 okay so you will get 34 minus 32.5 so you get 3.84 okay for oxygen oxygen here here got oxide here no oxide right so meaning that is b minus c so be 37.3 minus 36.34 Okay, so 37.3 minus 37.3 minus 36.34, so it get 0 0.96, okay? Then after that, after we have the mass, we can find the mole, so 3.4, 84 divided by R here is 64. Okay, this one is not 0 0.96 over 16. So you get 0 0.06. This one 3.84 divided by 64. So also 0 0.06. So ratio of the mole, so it will be the same. So 0 0.06 divided by 0 0.06. So you get 1. This one also the same. You get 1. So meaning that now, empirical formula will be uh, 1 1 eh? so the empirical formula will be R1 O1 BRO okay mm. so write the chemical equation so for the reaction 2 so meaning that now you have the copper right okay actually R is copper eh? R is a metal react with the uh, hydrogen gas okay oh, sorry RO RO metal oxide eh? okay react with hydrogen so you will produce Okay, the metal R is being displaced already, then with water. Okay, so this is the. Uh, it actually, you can also replace it with the copper 2 oxide. Yeah? We have with oxygen, uh, sorry, hydrogen. So it produces uh, copper and water is formed. Okay, uh, both are accepted. So two marks for this. Okay, so how many marks you can get for this quiz?